Lise, thank you for coming. We're excited to have you in the CJRU 1280 AM studios as the first artist to begin this 10-part series. Today you performed Is There Room, which is actually unreleased, so we're actually the first people to hear that. We're yes. very excited about that. So thank you. And it was just you and a microphone. Is that how most of your songwriting usually starts? Um, and the paper? Usually my songwriting starts um, with either an instrument, so either guitar or piano. Um, I usually like to start with a, metal, a melody sorry, first, um, and then I put like lyrics to it. So you mentioned you play guitar and piano. How, did you start off young playing piano or guitar, or did that, that's something that came later on in your journey? Yeah, so um, long story, try to make it short. Uh, so basically, oh, we have all the time okay, in the world. So. Okay. <laughs> so basically, I started piano, I'm going to say, when I was like seven. Um, and then I went to like the grade three level. Um, and then, but learning piano, just even the basics, like even just like the scale, um, it helped me to learn the guitar. So without the piano, um, I don't think I would have played the guitar uh, well enough as I do. Um, I started guitar about, I think I was like 19. I was gifted a guitar uh, for Christmas. Uh, and then I just started off of with three chords and then just started playing, started making my own songs. So that's kind of how I started. With now, that. is there an instrument that you prefer or it's just something that fits the mood? per se. Yeah, so I prefer guitar. Um, that's like my main like instrument that I use, uh, aside from my voice, obviously. Right. Uh, but yeah. Uh, growing up, was there someone close to you that played music around the house that maybe uh, inspired you or influenced you to sound the way that you do today? Um, not so much entirely. Like my aunt, she would always just play different artists from Lauryn Hill, Stevie Wonder, like literally just like so um, various artists. Um, and she just played around the house. She doesn't really play like an instrument or anything. So I kind of just got my musical inspiration from that. Um, and then I kind of shifted uh, towards more like John Mayer, Corinne Bailey Ray when I got older and discovered their music. And I noticed that majority of their music starts on the guitar. So that's kind of what inspired me to want to learn the guitar and then uh, write my own music. Right. And then you and then you sort of follow that process and starting with a guitar, exactly. finding a melody and then building a song around that. Exactly. Uh, Ella Fitzgerald was an artist you mentioned who inspired you. Mm -hmm. What is it about her? her? Her music, her overall persona? What really drew you to that iconic figure? Yeah. So obviously her music and just the way her voice I don't even know if this is the right term, but the way her voice like flutters, <laughs> like right. it just sounds like I'm really, I really like jazz right. um, music. So I'm just really inspired um, by just uh, the variations uh, in her voice that she uses. She can go from really high to really low. So um, that's something that. Right. Uh, and she is like known for like her, she mimics instruments almost with her voice exactly. and her range. And even like she, she does scat, which is just sort of yeah. improvising, but also trying to mimic sounds and the rhythms and melodies, the songs itself. Yeah. So you find yourself probably um, being inspired by that as well. Exactly, yeah. So uh, I would like to say that I feel that your music is an expression of you and your life experiences. So what is the story behind Is There Room? Yeah, so... <laughs> Uh, basically, uh, like you said, um, all of my majority of my songs are from uh, my own personal experiences. Uh, so basically, this song is about a guy that I've talked to, um, and he. We kind of started like you know, in like a good vibe and everything like that, and then uh, things kind of started to, um, or we became like a little distant, um, and then I just kind of realized that he still is kind of like in love with his ex and you know hasn't really dealt with that so the that's where the lyrics and stuff came from it's like is there room for me to even love you because if you're not gonna get over this next girl i don't know like, right. So <laughs> right so least thank you for the wonderful performance thank you for letting us to get a little bit let, let us know a little bit about you today and uh that's it thank you so much